<clears throat> so don't sacrifice the technical aspects of some of the stuff you do so like for example i've got a lot of creative stuff a lot of creative energy a lot of artistic stuff and it's easy to just get caught up in that and sometimes i could see a case for why you would just focus on that but a lot of the times there's these technical aspects to the stuff that you're doing that can be extremely helpful so and extremely like satisfying too once it's done so for example i'm working on a putting together an advertising campaign for um the deray clothing brand and it involves putting together this pixel for like tracking and coding and all that type of stuff and then thankfully I have some experience with coding and stuff like that and I was able to figure it out myself and it was super fulfilling but not just fulfilling like fulfilling because it was necessary to get it done so a lot of the times you could like um, what's it called like outsource it which is helpful but whenever you're getting going Whenever you get going, it's like super helpful to know how to get some stuff done. So you're not just sitting sitting there stuck waiting on folks, for example, too. Like you got to go back and forth and do all this stuff when you can sit down, take a few hours and figure out how to do it yourself. And it's like, oh, man. And then you learn a lot of stuff along the way that also applies to different things that you got going on. It's like, oh, nice. And it can be kind of grueling in the beginning because you're just so stupid. But once you figure it out like the basics of it at least then you get like a nice general roadmap for problem solving and figuring out how to get stuff done so i'm saying that because for myself it's easy to get caught up in that creative stuff like in the creative um like designing and stuff like that which is great and then to see some of the technical stuff or look underneath the hood and be like, I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. I'm going to go hire like a freelancer or somebody to figure that stuff out. But then there's like, the way I was thinking about it is, man, if I could hire somebody to go out there and figure that out, I could invest that money into the ad campaign and actually get my product and my designs out in front of people. You know what I mean? So the trade-off was some time, but it's not like it was just meaningless time. Like, wow, what a waste of time. That's so stupid. It's like, no, right now, especially whenever I'm like grinding it out and I'm just getting started, it's not like I've got this mega gazillion dollar company going where it's like, hey, we got a gazillion orders coming in. Just hurry up and get that stuff done. It's not like that. It's not like that. I actually got resources to focus and sit down and get it done and i did it and it was freaking satisfying it's like ah oh man oh thank you lord to be specific it was basically adding this pixel to my add to cart button in my clothing store which sounds like pretty straightforward and it probably is depending on where you're where you're at or what you know but for myself i was like lord have mercy what in the world we're in the world like tracking down that button in the source code and figuring out the right way to do it lord have mercy thankfully i've got the ai tool like an assistant that i could use to ask it questions and feed it code and get help and navigate now wow thank god and it started making sense and it was just super satisfying and then that satisfaction like rolls over into the next task into the next task into the next task and then there's something that's really cool about it because it i'm starting to understand stuff from this perspective from that perspective from that perspective which is really neat versus just i'm just making designs i'm just making designs i'm just making designs um me personally i like knowing that that side of this too so i'm sure there's somebody out there that's like i i, I could care less about that stuff I'm just making these designs. Somebody else can do that. And that's cool too. It's just for myself. I like getting under the hood as well. Like, nice. Like, I'm running the store. 
it's like an online store, but it's your store. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's, like, if you had a physical store, there's stuff that would go on where you'd need to go out and get it fixed by somebody else. Like, if there's a leaky pipe or something like that and it busts and you're not a plumber and it makes sense to just, like, hey, go get that. Go get that plumber, come in and fix it. You know, but then there's other stuff that's like, man, it's your store. It's not like you're super busy all day. You can do this and understand that something's probably going to happen like that again. It's going towards your marketing efforts. And you don't understand the pixel, what a pixel is, or how to do it. And you can figure it out. Why not do it? And then that way you're like, nice, going forward. And maybe you can pass that on somewhere else. Building up a skill, somebody else is going to want to do it. And now I'm aware of what that is. So I'm sharing that just to say, um, take some time to learn the technical side of your craft also. Or like, I, maybe it's not necessarily the technical side, but like the different angles that go into what you're doing. Me personally, it's very satisfying. Very satisfying. But I guess if you're niching down, super, super niche, then it doesn't matter. But if you're digging into running your own stuff, I'm like, I want to know what's going on in and out. I want to be able to talk with somebody and be like, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. So even if I'm going forward and I hire somebody to do it, at least I know what they're doing. I'm not sitting back like, I don't know. I don't know. Not when it comes to this, at least for other stuff. Like if it was like my car or something, there's like a level of like, okay, okay, okay. And then it gets to a point where it's like, I'm going to a mechanic. So when it's like that, yeah, it makes sense. But if it was just like your check engine light came on and you just went straight to the mechanic, you didn't even go check, like run a diagnostic to see. Like, okay, I can go to AutoZone, get a free check on the check engine light, and it'll tell me, like, this is what's going on in general. Then you can go to a mechanic, and then at least you can, like, verify it, see if that mechanic is saying something totally different or if it lines up with what AutoZone was saying. You know what I mean? So that kind of stuff just helps, like, okay. Okay, nice. Helps, like, build you up so that you're not just like, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, uh, with Nothing wrong with not knowing, but just being lazy. Just being lazy. Like, are you going to even figure anything out? Like, that kind of stuff. So, all that to say, don't be afraid to get technical, too, and learn that stuff. Because I guarantee you what I did, somebody would have charged me, like, a lot, too, just to do that. A lot. And I'm like, yeah, I can see why they would. You know what I mean? I would charge a lot, too, going through all this and figuring it out. It's like, nice no wonder but now it's like all right cool i can do that myself and then as the stuff grows i can figure out if i'm gonna outsource it or whatever like that anyways reminder reminder to self and heads up to anybody else don't be afraid to get underneath the technical hood bye